hello guys let's build a simple add function which will add numbers passed to it to start with let's first initialize our project let's do it with yarn i'm keeping all default okay so once we have initialized we will be doing this with chai and mocha testing libraries i assume that you are somewhat familiar with them even if not don't worry they will be pretty easy to learn so let's first install them as a dev dependency and add mocha and chat as dev dependency so once we have added them let's uh, edit our package json and write script to run our test this script just says that whenever i run yarn test it will run this script mocha and this mocha does the uh, running of testing all the test so let's create test folder where we will write our test and as tdd says first we will have to write test and then the code to run, to pass the test so let's add uh, our test and that dot back dot js and now we will describe what our adder function should do like this so our first first test will say what it should do it should should return zero for no input so what i am saying here is if i pass no input to our add function it should return zero so let's take the result and save it in some variable and, and i am here passing no input to add function and now let's assert on this result assert dot equal result to be zero this says that this result variable should contain zero and uh, this assert should be imported from chai library okay so now we have our first test ready let's run it with yarn test okay as you can see this test is failing because add function is not yet defined as we have expected so let's first uh, define it and make minimum changes to our code to pass this test so what can be that minimum change just create a new file add.js and here we will first export that function add function and let's define that function Almost add it is taking zero input and just to pass this test what we want is we want zero input and the result should be zero so let's simply return zero from here and now import this add function here and now let's run this test as you can see this test is passing now so we are incrementally building our adder function so now let's write next test for our function so what would be our next test it should return addition for two numbers right so let's write this test and store the result in result variable and pass two numbers one comma two so what we are expecting here is the result should contain three so let's assert on it equal result should be three okay so now let's run our test and see if it is failing yes it's failing so now let's do minimum code changes to pass these tests 
so what minimum code changes should be done we want to have two variables let's say num1 and num2 and we want to return addition of these numbers and we don't want to break our previous test if no input is passed it should still return zero so that's why we will write if num1 and num2 are passed then we will return num1 plus num2 and if not else simply return zero now let's run this test again yay so all the tests are passing and we have successfully uh, implemented our adder functionality here now let's say some other developers come in and he wants to add functionality to our adder function now see the magic how easily it will be for them to do so the new developer can easily go through our test and understand what is happening and these tests are like documentation for him to which says what our function is doing and how it is doing it now if he wants to add a new functionality say if he want to add multiple numbers with this function he can simply do so by adding a new test like so it should add uh, three numbers so this test says that if we pass three numbers to our function it should return addition of that three numbers so let's store the result in a result variable and pass three numbers one comma two comma two okay so assert on it and we want our result to be two plus two plus one which is five okay so now he can run the test and see if it's failing yes it's failing so now he will go to adder function and make minimum changes to make this test pass and without breaking previous test okay so how he can do is just do minimum changes like this arcs. and now what he can do is okay if arcs dot length is greater than zero then he wants to add those arguments right let's name this argument better with like let's say numbers numbers and if numbers are greater than zero then we want to add those numbers so let's write code for it written numbers dot reduce we will first I have accumulator sum and each number sum plus num and start the accumulator with zero if not if no arguments are passed we still want to return zero now let's run our test and see if it's passing yes all the tests are passing so we can confidently say that we are not breaking anything and we have successfully added our new functionality okay so in this way we can build software with ease and confidence that at any given point in time the code does what it says this was simple example stating use of tdd in further videos we will be taking some real world example and see how we can apply the same techniques i hope you enjoyed learning tdd thank you for watching and i'll see you in next one